Hello YouTube. I it's kind of late right now, but I got a request on my form I'm a member on um tortoise form about the best way to film t eastern box turtles without disturbing them. Well, this is um for you Anthony. Um the best way on finding eastern box turtles is after a nice rain whenever the humidity's up. And right now, you, you should hurry because by probably halfway through October, they'll be hibernating because of the cold. But this is mine, Anthony. And I just woke him up so you can see him. And he he's really nice and stuff, but I suggest you get him. They're some of the best turtles you can get for pets. Unless you're into aquatic trolls like I am. And... They will run you a bunch of money, but these guys don't run you too much. Unless you buy one. But this was given to me. Now, I'm going to go into, I'm going to base a, I'm going to have a little trilogy on box turtles for the next few days. Because of him going into hibernation, I'm going to go over hibernation, what to do, and um, what to feed them, and what, housery, and all that good stuff. Well, first of all, this is an eastern box turtle. You can tell by his shell. There's all kinds of different ones, but he's just, he just woke up, and he'd probably rather go back to sleep. But anyways, you um, most generally, you can tell if they're male is by the plastron, which is hold on, right there. Or also the cloaca which is that little part where I'm showing on the tail or you can tell by the eyes hold on let me see if the eyes see how his are red most generally males will be red but don't hold that too because I've seen some females with red eyes now other good ways now the best way of taking care of a box turtle is keeping them outside they do awful and flipping aquatic tanks those are for water turtles. Don't put them in there. Because usually they'll get real depressed and stuff. And I've watched them. I've seen people keep them in there. And they do really well outside. That He loves outside. And and I, I have flower beds around my house. So he likes to get in there and dig around. But. That's. But. Usually. Outside. Is the best. Now I have seen some good ornate box turtles cages but I've never owned one so I'm not for sure on that but anyways before you get one of these you need to do your homework because you need you do need to build one I had built one but I had to rebuild it again just because they're very good climbers and they can climb just phenomenally but okay anyways let's talk about other things now, I'm, I'm going to just go over a quick video because he's probably ready to go back to sleep. Another good, to feed him, um, you need us feed him a lot of different things just besides grass. Because little kids will feed him grass and stuff and try to keep him. That doesn't do him well. They need a well-balanced diet. About every three days, you give them protein like such as earthworms, mealworms, uh, crickets, things on that order, but usually what I feed them is mealworms and earthworms, romaine lettuce, no iceberg, because iceberg lettuce has no nutritional value whatsoever for a turtle, um, um, mustard greens, and I forget what the other green is, but I do feed them two different types of greens, I can't pronounce it, and I keep forgetting the word, but I'm sorry for it. But I'll tell you in the next video. But I feed those two different types of green. Sorry about that. I had a little brother was bugging me about something. And see what else? I feed mom watermelon. Ah, freaking light. Living out in the boonies kills you. Um. Also, I feed mom watermelon. What else did I feed mom? Watermelon. And he likes banana, and I do feed him banana, because 
I don't know what's with him in banana, but he loves it. And it's very good for him, so do feed them that. And you can get turtle pellets. But most generally, you can feed them stuff you found around in the kitchen. But everything has to be washed. And I'll also feed them carrots. Wash everything off if it's not natural because all the pesticides and stuff will kill them. Now, feed them every other day if they're adult. But before hibernation, I would feed them every day. But like, between the two, um, if you feed them every other day, that day break when you're not feeding them, give them like some romaine lettuce or greens to feed them. Because that's what I usually do. Hold on, I'll get, um, sorry. <sighs> this is what I keep them in of a night. Just for the simple fact I'm afraid of predators and stuff. And my other one's not built to the fullest. So I just keep them out there in the middle of the day when I'm home and watching them. But, see, I have threw a little banana in there. He ate around on and Romaine lettuce today. He likes that stuff, so. But I wouldn't go crazy about banana just for the simple fact bananas high with sugars and stuff and will make your turtle fat okay let's see but going to, now if you're looking for wild box turtles just to look at and stuff do not take them from the wild just for the simple fact because there are environment like in the cities and stuff where they were grown in the wild and stuff they're being overrun by cities and stuff, and the survival rate in the wild for a young hatchling is very low. But, anyways, so do not mess with them if you find them in the wild because it's very, their populations are down. But the best way to find them is to, after a rain, like I said, around fallen logs or at, or at the edge of fields where the wood line's about to begin. And usually you'll find them along roads more than anything else. I don't know why. There might be something in the road they like. But but they just like it for some reason. And the, he's just checking out a cricket. See you over there. But he, most generally they, they'll... Um, um, hang around on the road and stuff so if you do see one just stop over and pick it up if it's not like a really busy intersection but but <coughs> sorry I got a cold but usually you'll find them then but most likely you'll find them least unexpected when you're like taking a walk in the woods and you're not trying to find one you'll find one just for the simple fact, but if you try one it, to find them, you won't find them. And that's how it usually goes, just for the simple fact that that's how life goes, most generally. <laughs> but, I uh, subscribe and add and comment. I'll be doing plenty more videos throughout the, throughout the year on turtles. And I will be doing more turtle updates because I should begin... Diamondback turpins, like I said, this um, spring, and I'll be breeding a bunch and showing the updates on my hatchlings and stuff, and I'm very excited for it this year. But like I said, and just thank the Lord I'm able to do this and help people. Well, I hope I was help to you, Anthony, and I'll tell you on the forum about it if you you need more help. And just add, subscribe, and comment. Thank you. Good night and good life. My box store Goliath.